Hello folks, uh, we'll talk about the IP MAT course and so this is an integrated program in uh, management and the test for that. So, uh, it was started by IIM Indoor a long while ago. Now other IIMs have also started doing it. It's a beautiful course, it's a five year integrated course. The first three years is BBA, next two years is MBA. Students were kind of clear that you want to do an MBA, then it's a brilliant way to, to put it very simply to make an advanced booking and uh, a way in advance reservation for a high quality MBA seat three years from the time they finish school. The BBA degree that the IMs offer is actually standalone, not of that great value, but the MBA is golden. So anyone who's doing a five year integrated MBA is practically doing it for the value of the two year MBA right, the, right at the end of that. The first three years is okay, okay. The last two years is the ball game. The IMs made their name with doing being an MBA college. PGDM providers, they have added this BBA to make sure that they can get talent early. That is not a great value, the MBA is super. So anyone who is interested in a, in MBA at some point of time should think about this very seriously when they finish 12th standard, number one. Number two, many, many, many of students should write it, write the entrance exam, see where you stand. If you manage a seat, it is another option. At the end of 12th standard, there are seven, eight big options everybody has. And you have to pick and choose. Suppose you get your, your main idea is to do engineering, but you've not got your preferred engineering college or the next 25 of them. Then you're getting some alpha college in some city, then I am indoor program could be a fabulous option. Having said that, uh, right now is not the best time for students to jump in and do all this research. You have your board exams going. So if any students are watching this, put this video on for your parents, you go and study. Right. Now it's not, you don't need to know about all this research thing in the midst, in the middle of your board exam. Board exams are the most important exam. Focus and spend time on that. But parents, you think, I think you should you just stay on top of this. I'm sure parents, are, I'm a parent, I have a son writing a board exam in class 10, but still. So I, I know that we all worry about a million variables. So this, you should do a research on this IP mat thing. It's a wonderful course. Fabulous payoffs, a bunch of exams are there. Right? So for this, there are three different exams to write. That's I am indoors entrance exam, I am Rotex entrance exam, and chip mat. Three different exams to write for different colleges. Right? These are the big three. I am indoor, I am Rotex, and I am Jammu for each of those, each of those exams. All of these IAMs offer this. Several other colleges offer integrated MBA courses, five-year courses on the basis of IP Mat scores. The, you know, the IP mat entrance exam is a is an entry point for a bunch of colleges five year integrated courses and so that's a good good way to think about this so if you write all three then a bunch of new doors open up okay. so when do these exams happen the first of them is the chip mat exam 26th april rotex on 5th may indoor is on 12th may the most challenging of these exams is this the simplest of these is this chip mat. The best college is IM Indoor, which is based on this exam. This is in between, these are the simplest colleges. And so it's going from simplest to toughest, easiest to toughest in all forms. Okay? Now, IM Indoor's paper has, is rather tough. It is a heavy duty mathematical. So it's not quantitative aptitude, it's practically it tests a lot of math. So it will have questions from conic sections, complex numbers, from matrices and determinants, from differential calculus, from coordinate geometry, diagrams, all of them. And so so, so it's, it's not as tough as the JE exam, but it's probably a cut above the board exam school. It's a tough exam, not, a, not an easy exam. Rotec is simpler, Chipmat is very simple. The Chipmat syllabus is very straightforward. You can, you can practically go and wing it. No matter the question type it, you go and turn up and have a crack at it. There's a chance that you will crack it. A good, ambitious, capable, 12th standard student can go and have a crack at it. And so, those of you who are very serious about this option, this is the best, toughest, trickiest, uh, high quality seats available here. This is in between, this is right at the end. And so, so in one sense, it's good that the easiest exam comes first and then the exam difficulty keeps going up. And you must prepare for I am indoors IP mat. This you can say, look, I'll take two marks and go and wing it, you can still crack it. Beautiful. So what we guys offer to IM is we, we do a, a course for I, the, uh, the IP mat exam for all three. The toughest one to prepare for is indoor. The easiest one to prepare for is chip mat. So for chip mat, we'll probably do an outline of what are the different question type and say take one mark, go have fun. IM indoor, we'll 
buckle down and prepare very seriously. The colleges that accept chip match scores and give admission, they are regular colleges. I am indoor is a fantastic college. So what do we do? We do a complete comprehensive live course for this, more than 50 classes. Uh, wonderful teachers who turn up and take classes to cover all the topics that I tested in this. Right? We give full length max, mocks covering all of them, indoor and rotec, chip mat, you don't need really mocks. Uh, wonderful test series to practice from. A few booster classes right at the end to help students take uh, mock exams. We also help them for their interview part wherever that becomes relevant for a few of these colleges don't even have an interview process few have if they have interview process we'll help you with that as well and so now when do these live classes begin once again live classes begin only after your board exams and the board exams have different schedules the the last board exam the day it gets over the day after that our batch will begin exact starting date of the batch you'll find, you'll find on the website on the description link here uh, those of you who are keen to start a little sooner don't rush in, your board exams are important, but if your board exams are over or your critical exam is over and you have a three-day break, four-day break, you want to start, you can buy the course. It's almost, not almost, the entire course is available as a series of recorded lectures. You can go through them. You can take a mock or a practice. You can look at previous year papers. You can do all that from now till the formal kick-starting part of the course. I'm not recommending that. I'm not suggesting that your board exams are super important. So, uh, my recommendation would be to if you're working as a team, parent and student, then parents do the research on this. What is indoor? What is Rotac? What is Chipmat? What is IM Jammu? How good is Amrish Char? How good is Bodh Gaya? What are the options that we have? When do we apply for these exams? All of that. And know the framework of preparation for this. Uh, students, just hear a download from parents for 10 minutes. Clear your, finish your board exam. Then on that day, jump in and start preparing for IPMAT. Wonderful guys. Best wishes. Okay.